The very first colour wheel was invented by Isaac Newton. Newton's colour wheel was invented as a product of his light and prism experiments he did at his home in 1666 during the plague. My colour wheels came along oh, over 350 years later, but during another pandemic. I wanted to take the fantastic layer cake water media formula and just have it in a different format and expand that color universe from the movable fantastic pans of the original layer cake palettes into little mood vibes that could fit in the palm of your hand and inspire new color thought and new color use. And with the addition of these four new color wheels, there are 13 of these color vibes, these little color moods that join the big collection of layer cake, which encompasses the whole rainbow plus metallics and super color shifters. This is Puppy Circus, which is named after a little event that happens at my house each week with my dogs because my colour names come from a place just deep within my heart because I'm just so passionate about colour and how it makes me feel and see the world. And Puppy Circus is full of colours that you can use to paint pets but also to expand the universe of skin colours that exist in layer cakes. The Joy of Life palette is a take on a traditional colour mixing palette but with the addition of greys and a beautiful deep pink we unfold an incredibly sophisticated range of colours. There's also Pinkiosity which is just every pink and Sea Monkeys which celebrates my love of comics in the 80s. So with the continued legacy of the rather quirky names we have a slew of unique and incredibly useful colours that you can apply to your art. And layer cakes work fantastically well with all other water media. And add a new twist to all of the existing layer cake water media colours. So let's swatch out the Joy of Life palette. Uh, as I said, it does have traditional mixing colours. You've got your red, blue, and yellow you've also got the most incredible deep pink and a beautiful foliage green and a gray the gray is just such a neutral gray and it really it adds depth to all the colors and I will show that to you in one moment just as we swatch these out a joy of layer cake is that you can really change the opacity of it just by activating the paint with your brush a little more before you apply it to your page. So on that top layer of swatches I've got a fair amount of water in my brush and I'm really just lifting off that top layer of paint and I'm getting more of a watercolour wash. On this next blob <laughs> of paint um, playing with the amount of opacity so adding more water so you can see how it the colors mix when it's more of a wash and when I apply it more thickly and let the colors they just don't flow into each other as much because the water isn't there they they behave more like a gouache so you've got this incredible mix of both worlds and then the other trick that layer cake does and why it's called layer cake is it loves to layer on itself and uh, you can get really fantastic precise lines with it but perhaps the biggest joy of layer cake is i find it does exactly what you think it's going to do plus a little bit more but you are expecting what it's going to do so it's a wonderful art supply if you are new to water media or if you're a little bit nervous of watercolor it's a fantastic step into that world and then once you 
feel like you understand water media, you can expand that universe. But if you already love watercolour and you love its playful nature and that it's a collaboration, you're going to adore layer cake as well because it is nice to be the boss of the paint from time to time. The three mixing colours that are in this set are all on the warm side. So you're going to get a more natural set of colours when you are mixing them. But with the addition of that bright pink, you can push it into the brighter, cooler realm of mixing colours. That The additional colours that are in here are very, very, very specific. And this is what makes this palette so interesting. Also, the grey. You might think, oh, why would there be a grey in amongst these colours? Grey is a fabulous colour because... Well, it's an absence of colour, really, but it allows the brighter colours to really sing. I've got quite a few greys in my collection. I'm just showing you some of the grey gessos. But it's a wonderful addition to help tame colours in a quite controllable way. If when you start adding black into your bright colors you very quickly lose control of the color mixing process i find grays just temper things down a little and like i said they allow the brightest notes or the brightest version of that color to really really sing i'm just going to swatch out the fall in love color wheel as well because it it's similar but the colours, of course, are very different, but it does have some similar notes in it. In that they have a more natural look to them. When I say natural, I'm, I'm thinking of, of the natural world rather than the palettes I have that are called golf pants, which are super bright and inspired by the movie Caddyshack and the pastel clash of tartans and t-shirts or the new sea monkeys which again is that pastel clash but they're metallics as well they're so much fun <laughs> in these color wheels yes and there's 13 different uh, color wheels now and i have to do a calculation 78 colors and color wheels alone let alone all the others i'm on a, i'm an unstop unstoppable force of color <laughs> so with the Fall in Love palette, which is the one that I have in my hand, it's and I can't even tell you how nice it is just to paint from just a little palette like this. Sometimes I feel like the big palettes. Sometimes I feel like these little ones it's just... I go where my mood takes me. And these are like little colour moods. And I do just have to laugh at myself because I really... When I sat down in the live stream where this was recorded to swatch out each of the new color wheels. So I started with Joy of Life, then I got distracted and started making a color blob landscape, which I adore to do. I then must have had a question about the Fall in Love palette, so I started swatching that one out. Not one of the new ones, no, just doing whatever I felt like. And then I started painting some faces and the whole concept of doing swatches for you just flew out the window. But I think you, you, get, you can see the swatches already. You can see the colours in the pans, although they do look very different when they flesh out on the paper. But it's okay if we don't swatch them out, right? We'll just jump into the faces. But this happens every time, every time. It's very hard for me to apparently to keep on with just one uh, just keep swatching right so I'm moving between all of my different or well, not all the color wheels but mainly this fall in love and the joy of life I think they go really well together because they're so fantastic for portraits and the greens in those two palettes are so beautiful for eyes, for green eyes. I put a lot of green eyes and light coloured eyes in my artwork because that's what's in my family. I have green eyes. Angus has green eyes. So it's just, uh, to me, they remind me of family members. My sister's eyes go so green when she is upset or emotional. 
And every time, you know, if she's telling me something that's, you know, an upsetting story and her eyes just go this incredible emerald green. And I just, <laughs> every time I'm like, you look so beautiful. People are going to make you cry on purpose just because they, they want to see those green eyes. And then that always makes her laugh. So, <sighs> because to make her cry on purpose would be impossible. She's a strong woman. Okay, she just, she just cries. She does not cry all the time. It's just, you know, sisters, right? Anyway, I'm using a palette here called Santa Baby. Yes, I know the palettes have strange names, but Santa Baby is a fantastic song that I used to <laughs> dance around the Christmas tree singing to make my mother laugh. And, uh, you know, tickling. We had a big poster of Father Christmas on the wall and I would tickle him on the beard singing Santa Baby. Anyway. This palette is that and named for the amazing Eartha Kitt who oh, just fascinates me and I adore her. These colours have got Christmas colours in them. But they're not just for Christmas because it's got black and white. And as you saw me mixing, if you mix that red and green, you get this fabulous neutral because red and green are complementary colours. And it just goes, bam, straight into the most beautiful brown, which is gorgeous for darker skin tones or for shadows in or contrasting shadows in lighter skin tones. And of course, you can moderate it with the other colours that are in the other palettes. Plus it has gold and silver, which are great for Christmas decorations, but all gold and silver are gorgeous all year round. So it's a fabulously useful palette and I'm using the black in it, of course, for the eyelashes. But I'm also mixing in some of the other blues from the other palettes just to soften that off. Now let's bring out some of the alabama other palettes we have the spring to life urban jungle which is like a shadows palette with all our darker colors and the heaven and earth which is blues and greens and the idea with all of them is that say if you wanted to be painting a landscape you've got all of those blues and greens together it's a mood uh, if you wanted to be painting some faces you've got those colors together it's a mood the mood that you're in is what I mean okay so I've also obviously opened up one of the original lay cake palettes and oh, they're just so wonderful this is one called sushi roll I know the names are weird aren't they I love them <laughs> so sushi roll is a is a palette of muted colors which makes it fantastic for portraits and for drawing faces, as well as all other things. It's also just a very pleasing palette to the eye. These colors just all roll together. And it also has the addition of some super brights in there as well. Those pinks and corals, they look bright there because they're near those other neutrals, but they're not the brightest pinks uh, that we have. The brightest pinks are in the Pinkiosity color wheel in the new one and this little puppy circus strange name fabulous colors also there's a color in there that's fantastic if you want to paint blonde hair uh, because it's just such a beautiful warm tone but not too yellow uh, and using all of these different colors with from the countenance palette from the sushi roll and from <laughs> the um, puppy circus lots and lots of skin tones there plus ice cream slice it, the collection's extensive do you have to have them to do all of this no you do not uh, i'm just uh, like i said earlier in the video <clears throat> an unstoppable color force of nature and uh, i just am always thinking i'm planning of new colors and new palettes and new ways to use them primarily for myself i'm the one that needs all of these new colors i'm very i'm sorry to have to tell you but i'm very often not thinking of anyone else other than myself <laughs> when it comes to new colors and i'm just very fortunate that there are enough people out there that have wonderful fascination with color as well and we are birds of a feather if you feel that way welcome my friend 
we understand each other. And I love how I've used this blue. The blue that I'm using is a mix between freshwater eel and uh, rum, dark sake and dark rum. There's that little collection of colours on the end to give the, um, rather than use dark browns or blacks to infer a darker skin tone, colour is just amazing. <sighs> so, I've, oh, and we're going to add another palette out. This is the Icing on the Layer Cake palette. It's got five color shifters or super color shifters or chameleon pigments. They're the same type of pigment that are in the Artificial Intelligence and Atlantis watercolors. So the colors that when you look at them from different angles, they appear to be different colors. And there are five new metallics in that scent too, and metallic dark pink light pink the gold is to die for a white and a metallic black and now that everything has dried off we can add some finishing finishing touches with paint pens i like to use the brush with fame paint pens because they've got that brush tip they can work over the top of the layer cake especially in the thicker layers because it is a water media every time anything with any liquid in it touches it, it wants to move around a little bit. With the exception of itself, it's very stable when you put layer cake on layer cake, which is unusual for a water media, because usually any water media, it, they will always react with any other liquid. But that's just, just part of what makes layer cake special. What you can also do is add a spray fixative uh, which is a matte varnish, a workable fixative, just a light spray of that just to help everything settle onto the page. It's good to do that with watercolours and gouache as well, or most water media, pastels as well, because it does have that kind of velvet matte finish and that will help just everything stick and settle to the page so that you can keep working with other media. So I hope that you explore the world of layer cake and especially the colour wheels. They're my own creation and they are exclusive to janedavenport.com where we send out fantastic parcels that are like opening an arty party every day to people all over the world. And thanks for watching.